Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, one of the most commonly asked questions that men ask is how do I know if I'm balding? So, aside from the obvious, you know, your girlfriend or your friends might say that, hey, you know, your hair is looking a lot thinner. Um, you guys can look at old photos and compare and contrast to see how much your hair is receding. Or if you notice that, you know, you're having some difficulty with the same hairstyles that you used to do, um, those are some of the signs that might indicate that you're balding. But one of the most um, the sure, surefire ways to know if you're actually balding or not is to use one of these magnification devices. Now, if you guys remember, I did do one of uh, one of one of these videos where I showed you guys how my donor area and the recipient area looks like up close. Um, now, I did buy this on Amazon for about twenty dollars, and it's kind of like the same tool that the dermatologist and the hair uh, the hair specialist use to analyze hair. But as you guys can see, I'm showing you guys the back of the scalp. Now this is the area where it's resistant to DHT. Um, DHT is the main culprit for male pattern baldness. If you guys look, the hairs are looking healthy um, and they're, they look pretty, uh, pretty thick in diameter. Uh, if you guys look closely, you guys can see that white area right there. And that's where the doctor extracted the hairs to be uh, implanted to the areas that, that I was balding. Now, let me show you guys how the other hair follicles look like. Uh, for the most part, you're gonna have about anywhere from one to four hair grafts, and in my case, I had mostly two to three hair grafts uh, for the donor area. So it, it was pretty good. Um, and you know, the more hairs that you have per graft, it's gonna be better since it's gonna give you more density. Now, let me show you guys the the recipient area, which is gonna be the frontal hairline, and that's where. I had the uh, the hairs implanted. Now notice how the hairs are a lot thinner than the back of the, uh, the donor area. Um, it's thin for me right now because I'm at my three months and the hairs are still growing in. But if I didn't have a hair transplant and I've noticed that the density in the frontal hairline or whatever region that I'm thinking that's thinning and receding it's a lot thinner than any other regions uh, like that then that's often a good indication that you are receding and um, having miniaturization a lot of the hair specialists say that if you uh, if you have more than a 20 percent uh, reduction in your hair shaft from the areas where it's not really balding they say that that's a good indication that you're uh, you're having hair loss um, I guess a good way to really calculate that is to get one of these devices and then you can get a ruler, you can measure, you know, like the diameter right there versus something like in the front and if there's a difference of more than 20% that's going to be a, a good sign that you guys are actually receding and having hair loss. But in my case, um, like I said, it's thin because the hairs are just starting to grow in um, and then over the next uh, few months the hairs are going to be growing thicker and thicker but if you guys you know if you guys ever wonder you know you guys can spend about 20 bucks and get one of these nice little magnification devices um, and you can analyze your scalp or you can always go to your your dermatologist or a hair specialist and get your situation uh, or your scalp evaluated. But if you guys have any questions, let me know. Feel free to subscribe to my videos. And thanks for watching, guys.